Hi, and welcome to Animal Zone. I'm Arthur von Wiesenberger, and this handsome fellow is Mikey, my adopted pit bull. Animal Zone is the A to Z on everything about adoptable pets. Whether you're looking for a bird, a cat, a dog, or even a tortoise, we've got experts who can share their knowledge and insights. So cuddle up with your favorite critter and join us as we explore the Animal Zone. Well, this week we're in the Wild West. Well, maybe not quite the Wild West. We're actually at Universal Studios in Hollywood. And as someone once said, you know how they build all these buildings? Out of Hollywood. <laughs> Any case, we've got some special things on Animal Zone this week and some special people. So let's go in and have some fun. And here we are with Larissa Wall, the pet rescue expert at Hallmark Channel's Home and Family, and we are so thrilled to be spending the holidays with you. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy you guys are here. You know, it's been so busy, I'm sure, for you because you've got so many animal adoptions going on around the holidays. And what says holiday more than Hallmark, right? Nothing, yeah. nothing. I mean, Hallmark is holiday. They, they go hand in hand. So it's been such a busy couple of weeks, but I wouldn't change it for the world. It's been so rewarding getting to do a lot of segments about animal adoption and why pets shouldn't be gifts, but they're, they're great companions, but not necessarily a gift. And just everything that goes into holidays and pets, it's, I couldn't ask for anything better. Now, I, how many years have you been doing this? Well, rescuing I've been doing a long time, so I'm not gonna tell you how long because I don't want you to be able to guess my age. But I've been on camera for this show doing this uh, about a year and a half. And let me tell you, even from day one to now, it has grown tremendously, which is, just amazing. And you have an adoption every week? Yeah, so no, every day. Every so day. So we call it Adoption Ever After. And it, it includes home and family, our day-to-day -day segments, which have a, an adoptable animal every day. It's either a dog or a cat, or sometimes a couple. And then it also is the American Rescue Dog Show. It's Kitten Bowl. We're doing Cat Bowl this year. So it encompasses all of the network, and we do our part every day here on the show. That's amazing. And where do these animals come from? I mean, like like today you have Bentley, right? Where did Bentley Little come Bentley. from? Bentley. So I've you know I work with many wonderful rescues here in LA. I also have to kind of source out different rescues from around the country because we air nationally. So I want to prove to everybody that there's a dog out there for you, no matter where you are. So I do a lot of research. I do a lot of um, you know calling around and talking to the rescues. I get viewer tips. They say, you know, I rescued my little Linus from this rescue down the street. Call them, see if, if they have an animal that you could showcase. And obviously my relationships down here with rescues like Paul Works, who brought Bentley. Paul Works is amazing. They just re recently took out about, I want to say close to 80 dogs, big dogs, from the shelters in LA because of all the fires. Yes. And so the, the animals that had to be given up in that emergency moment needed a place to go. And the shelters said, you know, come here, but then there had to be room made. So they went in and took out dozens of them. So they do fabulous, fabulous work. And, you know, I just rely on them and they rely on me and it's a great partnership. That's incredible. Now, when you're uh, looking at all these animals, don't you fall for them? I mean, like Bentley, I was ready to just adopt him and take him home with me. Well, how do you, yes. do, how do you, how do you, how do you build up resistance it's, to that? You know what? I, it's very difficult. I think because I have fostered so many animals, I have been able to build up that wall where I want to take them all home, but I know I can't, so I, I don't. But I mean, I have four foster failures myself, so it's it's not easy to say no to them. I want them all, but. I know if I keep taking them in, I won't be able to take any more to help, so I have to hold myself back. <laughs> it's challenging. So when you come down here to Universal Studios to the Hallmark set, 
the dog arrives, and what do you do before you go on camera? I mean, how do you get to know the I dog? Know. So many people say, well, do you just show up like at noon? Oh my goodness, I wish. No, this is a full-time gig. I mean, I'm in here by 8 a.m. I have to go to the morning meeting. I have to meet with the producers so that they know what animals are going to be going on for that day or that week. Oftentimes, rescues have to cancel. Something came up. A volunteer couldn't be there because it's all volunteers. This isn't a, a paid gig for them. So we rely on them being so generous and coming here, but sometimes they cancel. So things happen all the time. And then the animals get here around 11.30 in the morning. I meet with the animal, I spend some time with the animal, I get video of the animal because we want to see the animal in its glory. We want to see them running around or enjoying a treat or playing with a toy. And the studio yep. tour comes by too. The studio tour Let's say hi to everybody from Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> and then I make my little note card and get ready to go on. I mean, I, I enjoy that time before the show because I'm going to be talking about this animal. So I need to get a sense of what it's like, what it loves, what it hates, who it would be good for. You know, it's, it's I take my job very seriously. Well, it's a great <laughs> job. Now, how about the animals themselves? I mean, it must be kind of stressful to be in here with all the cameras and the production going on and new faces. How do they adopt to it? It is. That is something we've actually, you know, still play around with because every animal is different and every animal came from different surroundings. Sometimes you know their history, other times you have no idea. So, you know, if, if one was, uh, you know, uh, hurt by a man. I hate to say that, but sometimes, you know, one of our big camera guys walks in and they get nervous. You, you start picking up on cues. Dogs are not quite as difficult. The cats can be finicky. I swear, many of the cats, you know, will, will be sitting there okay. And then once I start talking and my voice starts booming, they freak out. So I've learned to start kind of slowly raising my voice, just talking to them before the camera actually turns on. That way they don't get so freaked out but you know every animal's different for the most part i would say we we have had nothing but wonderful animals and you just learn what what ticks them and you don't do it <laughs> it's pretty easy <laughs> awfully easy when you're larissa wall she's great hey we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back we've got more here on animal zone hi i'm sean hawkins with santa maria valley humane society and this is my pal zelda and she's looking for a home it's great to adopt from an animal shelter because um, first and most importantly, you're saving a life and you're providing a second chance for a dog or cat who may have ended up in the shelter for no fault of their own. Um, secondly, uh, we encourage you to adopt and, and not buy off of Craigslist or out of a pet store because when you do that, you're only contributing to animal homelessness and pet overpopulation by causing more dogs and cats to be bred only to end up in the streets and um, homeless. We encourage you to adopt, don't shop, go to your local rescue organization and find a new home. Hey, take a look at these loving animals that you can adopt today. And don't worry, if someone beats you to the shelter, there are plenty more wonderful animals ready to find you and their forever home. Cooper. He's seen a few of these. Most people like to adopt the younger dogs, but one day your time will come, huh, Cooper? Aww. Sweetheart, what about those puppies? Aww. Honey puppies. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, that's it, that's the one. The Coldwell Banker Homes for Dogs Project has helped find homes for thousands of shelter dogs. How's your tea? Because our agents don't just understand real estate, they understand what home is all about.
Sometimes scary things happen, like fires and floods, and suddenly a family has lost everything. That's why the Unity Shop has a disaster assistance program. We help families with immediate needs like food, clothing, and household items, and we continue to help them long-term until they're back on their feet and in their homes. But it takes a whole community to make this possible. Please, donate today so we can help everyone who needs us. Find out how you can help at unityshop.org. The Santa Barbara Humane Society is an independent, local, community-based nonprofit with adoptable animals ready to find a forever home today. The Santa Barbara Humane Society offers low-cost spay and neuter and vaccinations to cats and dogs in our community. And Dr. Sisk is our veterinarian who performs those surgeries and helps with the vaccinations. Also, please have a relationship with your local veterinarian in case of an emergency. Visit sbhumanesociety.org and remember... At the Santa Barbara Humane Society, we want you to adopt, not shop. Thank you for joining us. Let's head back into the Animal Zone. We're here with Anna Griffin, who is with Paw Works from Ventura County, with Bentley, who is the dog of the day. He's the star of the show today, yes. Well, I don't this know. I think you're boy. kind of the star, too. Mm, no, I can't give it up. It's got to be Bentley. Well, tell me how you got into animal adoption. Well, I approached Paw Works about two years ago. Um, because I had actually rescued, I'd adopted two amazing puppies from them and I was so blown away by the work they were doing. Paw Works has actually been in business since uh, now 2014 and since then has uh, adopted over 4,500 animals plus plus. Um, also making Ventura County no kill within its first month of operation. So a little engine but doing really big things in the world of animal rescue. And so where did Bentley come from? Bentley was actually pulled from LA County. He went to a shelter in LA County as a result of the Bullsey Fire, which affected our region substantially. Our team was actually out on the front lines for five days straight. They pulled everything from dogs and cats to horses, alpaca, uh, even did a welfare check on Stanley the giraffe, as you know. Um, and anyway, as a result, he went off to a uh, shelter and then our team went in after the Wolsey Fire to the LA County shelters and pulled about 85 dogs out that were in danger of uh, euthanization. Oh wow! And do you and also he's have, one of them. Do you have other animals besides dogs? We have cats also. Yes. Oh wow! Yes. And you, did you rescue some from the fire as well? From that? Yeah, we brought in dogs and cats from the fire. So wow. and horses and burrows oh. and turkeys. Um, apparently, there was a great shot of our boss running around oh. trying to round out up some oh, sheep. Or something. Badly. And you're looking for a good home, and boy, this would be such a great pet to take home. He's I'm very great, tempted right now. I know. I'm trying to talk you into it. <laughs> you've done a good what job. What does a girl need to do? Not much more than you've done. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's great. He's seven years old. Mm -hmm. He's a Shih Tzu, and he's just very, very sweet. He's cuddly, warm, and affectionate. Loves car rides. Um, he's just ready for a home. He's really ready. And you showed me a, a, a dog you adopted, which is an absolute Wolfie. Door, adorable. Wolfie yeah. is his name. Wolfie huh? is responsible for me becoming uh, an employee of Poor Works. He's the one that inspired it all. How did that come about? I wanted to adopt a dog, and I was living in the the uh, Conejo Valley area. So I went to Poor Works and wasn't expecting to get a dog that day. Mm. Um, and there we walked into this beautiful adoption boutique. We've got two really lovely adoption boutiques and there were all these gorgeous dogs, white fluffy dogs wagging their tails, all leaning up at the fence. And just behind them there was this funny scruffy <coughs> black terrier mix that was staring at the wall. And <laughs> it was just like that one. Aww. Yeah, he's amazing, Wolfie dog. He's Isn't it amazing? Dogs kind of adopt us ultimately, don't they? Yeah, he definitely Those definitely guys. chose chose me, and he's kooky. I mean, like he's he's just got the right mummy. So. Oh, <laughs> that's so great! It's great that you're an adopter, and great that you're helping other dogs find their forever homes. Yeah, they're they're just great. Dogs are really great creatures. They're unconditional, and I think as humans, we can learn so much about how to be in life, particularly in these times. Um, so yeah, just a big, big dog lover and they just deserve a lot of unconditional love and happiness. So. And you're great. If people want to know more about uh, Paw Works, do you have a website? Yes, we do. It's pawworks.org um, or they can follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Paw Works. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much and thank you, Bentley. Thank you so, so much. And we'll be right back after these words. Hi, I'm Jeffany Telson with Rescue Cats and you're watching Animal Zone. The Santa Barbara County Animal Care Foundation is dedicated to saving animals' lives, but we need your help to continue this critical work. SBCACF provides year-round medical and surgical care so that abandoned, homeless, or abused animals receive the best second chance at finding a loving home. No animal is turned away from surgical care. 
To learn more and assist us in keeping that pledge, visit sbcanimalcare.org and make a donation today. If they can be saved, we want to save them. Sometimes scary things happen, like fires and floods, and suddenly a family has lost everything. That's why the Unity Shop has a disaster assistance program. We help families with immediate needs like food, clothing, and household items, and we continue to help them long term until they're back on their feet and in their homes. But it takes a whole community to make this possible. Please, donate today so we can help everyone who needs us. Find out how you can help at unityshop.org. Well, we're going to take a quick break from Universal Studios and visit some kitty cats at Don Lopez Kitten Rescue. Well, we are an equal opportunity employer here on Animal Zone. Not just dogs, but now we are with cats. We're at Don Lopez Kitten Rescue in Atwater. And Don, love all your kittens here. I'm just falling in love. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Yeah, how many uh, cats have you got right now? Uh, right now in here we have 18 kittens. We only take the ones that are ready for adoption because the people can come in here and adopt directly out of this room. Well, how do you get these cats and kittens ready for adoption? Well, that's a really good question. Um, a lot of them come to us as bottle babies or with their mothers under age. So we put them first in our nursery. Then they might go into a foster home where they will get their vaccinations, they will get tested for feline leukemia and FIV, which is an immune deficiency disease. And then from there, uh, we get them dewormed, they get microchipped, and you get all of that for an adoption fee of 120 per kitten or a pair of kittens for 200. Which is a good idea because they keep each other company, don't they? Yes. We actually have a policy where we don't let a, a kitten that is under four months go by itself and be the only kitten in the house. The reason for that is they can be very destructive when they're the only kitten. Mm -hmm. They can become uh, not well adjusted where you might be petting them and they're purring and then all of a sudden they go wild on you and they run off. Oh, and we have one of those. Yeah. <laughs> what should I do? The antidote to that is one more kitten. Okay, I got if it. If you bring another kitten in for a playmate, uh -huh. and I, I promise you, we, we had one come in that was five months old, Yeah. and it was actually stalking the children <laughs> <laughs> because it had so much predator energy. Mm -hmm. We brought it in here, and these guys whipped him into shape, and he became a little lap kitty, and he, was, he got adopted right away. Oh. That's great to know. Now you adopt a lot of cats uh, out, don't you? Is this one of the bigger uh, cat centers? Yes, kitten, well Kitten Rescue itself is the largest cat specific rescue in LA. Wow. And our adoption center though is a little bit small and we just opened. How many cats have been adopted through you, do you, you know? We just started in May. We've had over 125 adoptions oh, already. Wonderful. That's so great. So if you're, if you're a cat lover and you want to make sure a, a kitten gets the right environment, are there some tricks to making kitty really happy in your new home? Yes. Well, if you're introducing kitty to an already existing kitty in the house, we want to make sure that existing kitty does not feel displaced. 
So the new kitty will go into a smaller room, a bedroom or a bathroom for a few days as the existing kitty gets used to it. Nice. And, th and the new kitty gets used to the sounds and smells of the new house. Ah, okay. And then, and then of course, if you have a dog, then that's probably another uh, introduction slow. Yes. Right? In fact, after you do those introductions, uh, you probably want to bring the kitty out in a protective carrier just for them to meet the first time. I see. And um, a, a, a cat or a kitten that you bring home uh, usually goes, goes well with all the family members or does, do they become just a single uh, person kitty? Well, there will be someone who spends more time with the kitty, but the kitty doesn't really differentiate. The kitty loves all. <laughs> This one is adorable. This is Fiji, right? This is Fiji. He's a little boy. He's about four and a half to five months old. He is a total, I don't know if you can hear him purring, but he is just purring up a storm right now. And he would make a great companion to another cat and also a companion to his owners because he would be on your lap all the time. Oh, gosh. And he's a, sort of a tuxedo kitty, right? This is, well, Actually, I think we call this, he's a cross between a tuxedo and cow pattern. Mm-hmm, baby calf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. Now, you mentioned you have an unusual ki ki cat or kitten that's got six, six paws. Yes, right? we call that a polydactyl. Wow. That... She has extra toes. Yeah. I can show can it you, to can you. We, yeah, yeah I mean... I've never, I've, I've heard about them, but I've never seen one before. Well, they are also, they used to be known as Hemingways. Why is that? Well, Hemingway, when he was on his island, was gifted a white cat with extra toes. And then she procreated on the island and had a bunch of six-toed kitties. And why do they have extra toe? What it's happened? just a mutation. Wow. It seems to be a fairly common one, but you'll get one or two maybe in a litter and the rest won't have it. And it only, it is kind of special. It doesn't Look, happen. Looks like they're ready to go skiing or they got their mittens on. Well, you know, we thought we'd try teaching her piano. <laughs> oh, she's good. What's her name? Uh, this one is Pandora. Pandora. And oh. I know she could actually open that box. Wow, just gorgeous. Dawn, if people want to know more uh, about your rescue, is there a website they can go to? Yes, we're at kittenrescue.org. I think I may have to go borrow a kitten uh, carrier or two because uh, I want to take some of these back to, with me to Universal Studios. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got more Animal Zone. Well, this is Penny. She was adopted uh, by me uh, two years ago. And I've worked with Dog uh, volunteering for about 12 years and a couple of their private rescues. Uh, the reason I think it's really important is uh, to adopt and not purchase a dog. We always say shop don't, you know, adopt don't shop because you're rescuing not just the one dog that's in the shelter but you're also saving another one that we can go and rescue from another shelter that might have been euthanized. Uh, there's, uh, there's so many beautiful dogs, really adoptable dogs in all shelters and spay and neuter, by all means spay and neuter because that will stop the pattern of, of so many dogs in the shelters. Hey, take a look at these loving animals that you can adopt today. And don't worry, if someone beats you to the shelter, there are plenty more wonderful animals ready to find you and their forever home. Oh, that's Cooper. He's seen a few of these. Most people like to adopt the younger dogs, but one day your time will come, huh, Cooper? Aww. Sweetheart, what about these puppies? Honey puppies. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, that's it, that's the one. The Coldwell Banker Homes for Dogs Project has helped find homes for thousands of shelter dogs. How's your tea? Because our agents don't just understand real estate, they understand what home is all about. 
I'm Mindy Mahi, this is Samson, and you're watching Animal Zone. We're back here with Larissa Wall, the pet rescue expert on Hallmark Channel's Home and Family. And Larissa, you guys have done such a great job getting animals adopted. Do you have any idea how many you've adopted? Thank you. Yes, we do, and I'm so happy to say we are at 658 to be exact. Dogs and cats that we have showcased that have gone on to find homes, and there might be more out there. I have to do all the emails and find out, so I'm in the midst of doing that. That is fantastic. <laughs> Now, if people want to watch the show, what, what, what is the schedule for uh, Hallmark's channel? So we air every morning for two hours. So we are a, a beast of a show and we have so much fun stuff, cooking and fashion and crafts and animals and all of it. So every morning on Hallmark Channel. And then of course we have hallmarkchannel.com. My website is savedbythel.com. I post every animal that comes on our show so you can find out more about them or if, how to adopt them through that as well. Fantastic, Larissa, it's so great to Thank spend you. the holiday here Yay! at the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> we'll be right back after these words. I'm Sally Jordan. I'm a dog adopter. I believe in this so fervently. Giving a dog another chance at life, just a few years of kindness and comfortability and warmth is a wonderful gift you can give to some little dog who otherwise would not have that opportunity for joy. But selfishly, the joy has been all mine. The dogs I have adopted have brought me so much warmth, so much comfort, so much joy. Their little senses of humor, their little individual personalities have so enhanced my life. So really, adopting dogs, particularly the old and handicapped, have been of great benefit to me and have really been a selfish on my part joy. Every morning, you could count on it being there with the rise of the sun. We're proud to say we've been there every day with you. The Santa Barbara News Press plans to continue sharing the news of the day with you all through the year and beyond. It's nice to know there are some things you can still count on. The Santa Barbara News Press, serving Santa Barbara since 1855. Subscribe today. Call 1-800-654-3292. The Santa Barbara County Animal Care Foundation is dedicated to saving animals' lives, but we need your help to continue this critical work. SBCACF provides year-round medical and surgical care so that abandoned, homeless, or abused animals receive the best second chance at finding a loving home. No animal is turned away from surgical care. To learn more and assist us in keeping that pledge, visit sbcanimalcare.org and make a donation today. If they can be saved, we want to save them. The Santa Barbara Humane Society is an independent, local, community-based nonprofit with adoptable animals ready to find a forever home today. The Santa Barbara Humane Society offers low-cost spay and neuter and vaccinations to cats and dogs in our community. And Dr. Sisk is our veterinarian who performs those surgeries and helps with the vaccinations. Also, please have a relationship with your local veterinarian in case of an emergency. Visit sbhumanesociety.org and remember... At the Santa Barbara Humane Society, we want you to adopt, not shop. Weren't there some amazing animals and guests? You know, you who adopt animals from shelters, you are the true heroes. If you want to see more about Animal Zone and other things, check out our website, animalzone.org. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Never was a friend so true. Never was a friend like you. Canine, you're my best friend. Canine of mine time so glad you're my best friend through thick and thin we'll see things through canine of mine so true did i find you or did you find me either way it's still serendipity when I saw you, it was plain to see You weren't just another lassie Wanna be your canine of mine Friend for all time I'm so glad you're my best friend